Hello subscribers, here is another review, and this time I'll be reviewing the Bandai Movie Monster series GMK Godzilla and the Bandai Creation GMK Godzilla. Now, um, uh, if, if you guys are watching my video, you know that I got this one for my birthday back in December, and I got this one on eBay for $50. Now, um, I think this figure was released in, um, 2001 or 2002, around the same time um, G the GMK movie was released. And this one was released, you know, a few years later in 2005. So, um, since this one was made first, we'll be taking a look at, uh, this guy first. Now, I just want to start this review off by saying, this figure right here is absolutely fantastic. It's my favorite Godzilla toy so far, and uh, possibly one of my favorite figures in my whole collection. Now, I just want to say now, um, since I have this figure for a couple months, the figure gets an easy 10 out of 10. Yes, I know I saved my ratings till the end of the video, but this figure is just so amazing, I just want to, you know, uh, give him a rating right now. Now, let's start with the detailing as always. Just from this distance, you can already see all the details on the figure right here. See, there's the side view, and then top view, and then the other uh, view, and then the bottom view. But yeah, so you can see the head sculpt right here. It's a very much like GMK Godzilla. See, so you got the menacing eyes right there. And I th I'm pretty sure in the movie they were a bit brighter, but it looks fine. See, you got the dorsal plates right there. And I'm pretty sure in the film they were a bit larger and uh, brighter, but that's a minor nitpick. They still look great. And how they did in the movie, too. You see, you got the feet right there. See, uh, they're uh, uh, unlike the Bandai Creation figure. Well, I'll, I'll get. I'll say that when I get to the uh, Bandai Creation figure. We see the, uh, see the claws are painted a uh, beige color. They're nicely sculpted in detail as well. See the claws are the same color. See nicely sculpted hands right there. You got his torso right there. Yeah, since for uh, one of the most for probably uh, the most evil Godzilla, he's kind of fat. I have to say. <laughs> so you see, that's it for the detail. Now next, I'll get into the um, articulation. Now, one thing I really, another thing I really like about this figure is that all the um, joints are articulated, and they all go 360. See, the head goes 360, the arms go all the way. So does the legs and the tail. Goes 360. Speaking of the tail, you don't see that many articulated tails on some recent Bandai figures, like you know, like the Atomic Breath King of the Monsters Godzilla and the. Uh, uh, 2018 reissue of Mecha King Ghidorah. Now, the paint job on here, very movie accurate. Of course, um, like most Godzilla incarnations, he's usually a black or a very dark gray. Sorry, my lighting's being very annoying. But yeah, see, he's mostly black, and then uh, the fins are, um, they have some, like, dry, uh, dark gray dry brushing, I think. And then, like I said, the claws are a beige color, so are the teeth, there's a red tongue, and then the uh, same gray um, eye right there. Now, I honestly don't know what else to say about this figure. Everything about this figure is great. And, um, oh yeah, uh, a, a few more um, good things about this figure. Of course, it's an 8-inch figure. Because of that, they're able to pack more detail in. And also, it's a soft vinyl. See, the tail is soft vinyl, so is the body, and the legs as well, and of course the head. Even uh, the dorsal plates are a little bit of soft vinyl as well. And it's not, you know, super soft like some of the pink tag reissue figures. It's um, it's soft, but, you know, not too soft to the point where it would be prone to uh, warping. So, yeah, this is the uh, Bandai Movie Monster series, 8-inch GMK Godzilla. Very awesome figure. Now let's move on to the Bandai Creation GMK Godzilla. So here's the Bandai Creation, or Bandai America, GMK Godzilla. And, uh, yeah, of course this figure is... Easily inferior to the uh, uh, Bandai one. Like, I know, um, unlike most of the Bandai Movie Monster series figures, these uh, Bandai USA figures were mainly designed towards kids. And um, for a kid's toy, it's not that bad. But I just wish uh, they were to, like, at least give this figure like, a larger head, because as you guys notice, that his head is pretty small in, uh, compared to the rest of his body. The dorsal plates, also, they don't look that uh, well sculpted. Especially compared to, you know, the Bandai one. They could have done, you know, better on the dorsal plates and could have enlarged the head. Uh, those are the only things I wish they'd done with this figure. Because, you know, this is a kid's toy, so I don't expect, like, you know, super movie accurate figures like Bandai or even X+. Plus. But see, the details right here, it's good detailing. Uh, somewhat similar to the Bandai, except, you know, it's a little less. 
see uh see the dorsal plates like i said they don't look that good but the head uh, still looks like that of gnk godzilla see of course and the eyes are brighter so are the dorsal plates so i guess that's one advantage uh the bandai creation one has over the bandai one um you know brightly colored dorsal plates and um uh, brighter eyes see uh the teeth the in the claws are all just you know a white color as opposed to the beige color on the bandai figure and like the Bandai figure, all the joints are articulated. And uh, they all move 360. But the legs are a bit stiff. Yeah, uh, to move the legs, you got kind of got to move the arms. Yeah, the legs are very stiff. And also the tail moved uh, 360. So yeah, that's, for, that's the articulation. Now on to the paint job. Uh, the overall paint job. See, he's not as, you know, dark as the, um, Bandai figure. He's more of like a gray, w bluish gray? Because I kind of see blue in this figure. I don't know about you guys. Maybe I'm colorblind. <laughs> but yeah, see, uh, the colors are in, uh, you know, basically the same brighter dorsal plates. And then, of course, uh, basically, you know, black or dark gray all over the body. So, um, yeah, like like I said, uh, for, for a kid's toy, it's really not that bad. But I... Like I said, the least they could have done is just do a, a bit better on the spikes right here, and probably just make the head a bit larger. But other than that, this is decent. And I forgot to mention that um, this was one of my first toys I've ever gotten. Well, it's my first Godzilla toy. Well, of course, not not this particular one right here. The first one I've gotten since I was uh, very young. Oh uh, yeah, I lost it. I think like the arms and the tail fell off, and then no, over time I lost it. Now this one. Uh, like I said, I got on eBay for sixteen dollars for my birthday. So yeah, that's all I have to say about the Bandai Creation GMK Godzilla. Um, for I have to uh, give him have to say probably a seven out of ten. It's not completely horrible, like say the Bandai Creation Hedora. This figure is okay. It's just it has a few proportion problems. That's it. But uh, I really like this figure. Uh, also for nostalgia reasons as well, you know, going into KB Toys and seeing these things on the shelf for very reasonable prices. Now let's start with the comparisons. Here's the GMK Godzillas next to the uh, Bandai Pink Tag Godzilla 2000. Now let's compare these two next to the uh, Bandai Heat Ray Godzilla Earth and the Bandai Godzilla 2019. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my review on the Bandai Movie Monster series GMK Godzilla and the Bandai Creation GMK Godzilla. Now, like I said before, this figure is absolutely fantastic. It gets an easy 10 out of 10. This one, it's not the definitely uh, not the best Godzilla figure, but it's still uh, pretty decent. 7 out of 10 uh, for it. And um, I have to say, uh, of course, I recommend this one over this one. And um, if you're a fan of, you know, just a huge fan of Godzilla in general, or just a fan of GMK, then I say get both of them. But I would say just um, uh, save your money and pass on this guy and try to find, you know, uh, uh, this guy for a good price. So if you guys like this review, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.